Just a note about the trendsetter career. Um, you might want to avoid starting any trends because the townies tend to show up in the outfits you design. And I did this one and I made it crazy on purpose to know that they were wearing my outfit. And this is patchy. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get top level in every career, finish every aspiration, get top level in every skill, earn all the degrees, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Carla's just finishing up her homework since it's Sunday and a new term has started. And we are also seasoned member of the Spirit Squad, but senior member for all of the other ones. So we don't have to go to any of the events except for the Spirit Squad event, which is at 6 p.m. I've also been trying to complete this style board and I did maybe four or five impressions. I can't remember how many. And I'm allowed to customize it by putting a black background or a white background, but that's the only new thing I've seen pop up so far. Oh, by the way, I did harvest all of the moon petals and I know you need to harvest it three times. And when you harvest it once, you only get one moon petal and credit for one of the aspirational steps. So it's only one out of three. And what I had to do is basically just change to a different lot and it was immediately harvestable again. Okay, I added another impression, but it's still not allowing me to do anything else. Oh, it's just the bar night. For the spirit squad i'm not going to be able to do very much there oh let's just go prank the rival statue first and then we can start cheers and taunt a rival student don't mind me guys i just have to clean this up first and then i can taunt someone and we actually taunted the mascot because apparently we don't know them and we're looking all around but we're still going to prank the statue despite the fact that there is a bunch of bright chester students here um, it didn't let me. Oh, wow. I've never seen that happen before. Most of the time when I go to prank this statue, it just lets me, but it's not letting me. Is it because people are around? Yeah, it's not letting me do it while people are around. Oh, no. There it goes. No, nope. they interrupted me. Okay. All right. I, I actually like that feature now. Every time I've done that before, it seems like no one ever interrupted me. Or maybe it's the sprites that are interrupting me. Hmm, something is going on. I can't tell if it's the people being here or if it is something else that has interrupted me. Okay, so a whole bunch of people just fell over because I was changing uh, back into a human from a werewolf. So let's see if I can do it now that no one's watching me. And I love the music they play for this. It's actually kind of cute. Okay, now it let me. All right, I like that feature now. I don't think I've ever had someone catch me pranking the statue. All right, now it's time to start a cheer three times. All right, one more cheer. Everybody gather around and give it up for Foxberry. I can't even get credit for playing Juice Pong. Oh, I did. Okay, good. I was about to say, I better get credit for that. I wonder if there are other books you need to read in order to learn the Wolf Be Gone Cure. I've seen people get the cure from the history of Moonwood Mill, but I thought you had to have the Diary of Greg in order to get the cure. Okay, I don't know what is up with this cure for the Wolf Be Gone because it's just not giving it to me. I've seen the same pop-ups several times. So the vampire uprising, everyone as spellcasters were increasingly desperate and then it fractured the fabric of the realm itself. That has popped up more than once. So I have read the complete diary of Greg and it's not giving me the cure for the wolf be gone. I think I have to read different books. Well, it will be time for class at 8 a.m., so we're going to go home now. While we're waiting for 8 a.m. to roll around, we'll try reading the history of Moonwood Mill, if I can get through it. Why are you going hunting? Get back here. You're not hungry. Why does she do that? 
Okay, it seems like they finish the book easier if you have something else in their queue other than reading. This time she got all the way through the book and I don't care if I'm a little bit late to class. That's fine. Oh, this Saturday is the Finchwick Fair and oh, our cow is unhappy. Let's fix that. But anyway, it is the Finchwick Fair Cow Fair. I don't know why she's dirty. I just bought her yesterday. <laughs> oh, wait. Class is going to start. Crap. I forgot about that. Okay. Cow is clean. Go to class. And why is she not running fast? I have Werewolf Run enabled. Seems like those special abilities just don't work, even if you enable them. Yeah, she's really, really late. <laughs> she's not going to get a good grade for that one, but that's okay. It's the Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes that you don't really have to worry about because there's three of them. And if you screw up on one, it's completely fine. As long as it's not the one where you have to take the exam, then just make sure that if you have a presentation or a paper that you actually get the best grade on it. Okay, and the last class is at 3 p.m. Okay, let's go visit the Wild Thing Hangout and check the resources, plus fix our pack participation. Oh, we just need to mark our territory. Okay, well, we'll mark our territory outside of the Wild Things Hangout. I don't want to do it at home. Oh, they have the Wolfman tablet. I need the other one. I think it's the one that's shaped like a long triangle that I don't have. When did they change this? It says call chickens to eat. I try to feed chickens treats and usually it's about a 50, 50 chance of whether or not they eat it or they don't. And if they don't eat it right away, it tends to sit there forever. But now there's an option to call one of them over to eat it. I don't know how long that's been there. I haven't checked by clicking on it in a long time. So what happens if I call Alice over to eat the treat? And here she comes. Are you going to eat it, Alice? Okay, she's here. Okay, you, I had to do it twice and she started to eat it and then she stopped. Why is that? Come on, eat it. Okay. You have to cancel your gather roaming chickens or she won't eat it so i did it a couple of times and it looks like it worked now okay i have to go back to cleaning the cow oh my organization's reset every once in a while they reset for some reason and you have to do something for the organization to go back to senior member all right we made a chatterbot which got us senior member in the bot savants we're going to study for two hours which will get us senior member in the brainiacs and then offer a food on the altar for the Order of, en of Enchantment. Hopefully this works, even though there isn't a gathering going on. Alright, it did. I also checked in with the sprites, because if you don't do that every once in a while, they will come looking for you. Our only class today is at 1.30pm, so we can go to Moonwind Mill and fix our pack participation. Well, I guess we really don't need to be leader of the pack. I do want to stay in the pack for now, though, because I like getting the resources. So we'll go ahead and give leadership of the pack back to Rory. Oh, Rory gave us a vegetable dumpling. We really don't need that. We should just give it back to her. Here you go, Rory. You can have that back. Back to reading until we have to go to school. Oh, and we got promoted. Okay, we have work in two hours. Um, no. First, we will convince our boss to give us a bonus. So I hired another oh. butler, oh, and oh. they sent the same guy, and he immediately quit. I was trying to fire him. Now, if I immediately hire a butler before he leaves the lot, will they give me a different butler? Why do they keep sending the same guy? That is so annoying. Okay, this time I actually got to him first and fired him. Yeah, Afu, you can't quit. You're fired. What if I did werewolf diplomacy? That would make him not afraid of werewolves. 
maybe if I give him the cursed bite, that's what I'll do. Because I think if you turn your butler, actually, I know, if you turn your butler into a vampire, they will get reassigned. Maybe if I turn him into a werewolf, he will get reassigned. Now he's already leaving the lot. All right. Well, if they do that one more time and, and give me the same butler, I'm going to turn him into a werewolf. I have to remember to take care of the cow. We need to take Daisy to the Finchwick Bear this weekend. Maybe I should rehire the ranch hand. Oh, I got to the top of the trendsetter career. And we are level 10. Well, just a note about the trendsetter career. Um, you might want to avoid starting any trends because the townies tend to show up in the outfits you design. And I did this one and I made it crazy on purpose to know that they were wearing my outfit. And this is patchy. So unfortunately, there is a bug with the trendsetter career that if you set a trend and a sim visits your lot they will probably be wearing that trend and if patchy or the grim reaper show up this is now how they're going to look in the game which is kind of sad to be honest they should have exempted special characters that have special costumes but no this unfortunately is what you get okay so we're finished with all of the art history degree jobs and those were art critic Patron of the Arts, and Trendsetter. So now we're moving on to the biology degree that we got. And there's four of them. Athletic Bodybuilder, Gardener, Botanist, and Conservationist, Marine Biologist, and Doctor Active Career. So the Active Career is unfortunately going to be really hard to get through because you have to actually go to the career and do the tasks or the promotion tasks and we're going to skip those because we can't do them while we're in university so we'll start with the bodybuilder and we're level eight so we just need to make sure we have all our promotion tasks done which is charisma level seven fitness level 10 which is easy so we need to mentor fitness and that's complete because i think there's something to do with our celebrity level or maybe the fact that we're in a club that has easy promotions or something like that but anyway our daily task is usually just done automatically we never have to do it so now to just get the performance up okay work is in two days so i'm not going to worry about that now and we have two hours until the foxbury spirit squad event and all we can do here is play juice pong in order to get points because unfortunately the mascot will not show up all right, I'm having a problem with the trash that comes from cleaning the coop and this barn thing, the animal shed. So basically, for whatever reason, the Sims refuse to throw the trash into the nano trash cans. And they will throw it in a regular trash can like this, an outdoor trash can. But the unfortunate part about that is that these get knocked over all the time by horses, by sims, and then they get bugged because you can't pick them up. And then I can use a dumpster, but the problem with the dumpster is once it gets full, the sims will not use it. They refuse to put it in a full dumpster and there's no way to empty the dumpster unless you turn on the reduce and recycling lot challenge and then you can empty it. But if you don't, then you can only rummage through it and sort out recyclables and die for deals and things like that. But with reduce and recycle, when you empty it, you go to the dumpster, which is a rabbit hole and takes time. So I don't want that. I want something that never breaks. But unfortunately, these things also break too, but I think they can't be knocked over and, and it's just you have to fix it when it breaks. So maybe I'll try that and see if it's less annoying than the dumpster. Because at least with this, if I want to replace it, I just have to click on it and click replace. I don't have to go back into build mode and sell the dumpster and rebuy it. Now, the only question is, will the Sims use it to throw away the trash? Because they wouldn't use the nano trash can. No. Okay. Well, that stinks. I guess we're stuck with the dumpster. 
Okay, they reset our tasks for the Foxberry Spirit Squad, but we still have to take a selfie with the mascot. Well, we can do the other two. First, we'll taunt a student about university superiority. And then we'll start a cheer three times. All right, we're tr still trying to learn the werewolf cure. So I'm just going to read the book over and over again. I don't know, maybe because I've been reading it in wolf form, it's not giving me the cure. But for some reason, Renee was able to get it pretty easily. But Carla is having such a hard time. I think it's supposed to be a random chance. So maybe I've just been really unlucky. And why does Caitlin keep calling me? Caitlin keeps calling me for dates, but I'm just telling her that I'm going to go on a date with her, but then don't actually go on a date because what I want to do is have a poll and figure out who Carla should be involved with. Oh, my chicken is dying. Oh, sorry, Alice. You were a good chicken. And Grim gives you pets and we say goodbye. Well, at least Grim is not wearing my outfit. I'm happy about that. Oh, finally, we got the wolf be gone. All right. We do not need to read this book anymore. All right. Now we just have to make it and drink it. But first, before we drink it, we have to make sure that we have all of our werewolf things done. So unfortunately, I'm still missing one tablet. And I also need four or five more werewolf points. Now, I don't know if this one will have an expiration timer on it. Yes, it does. Okay, now the way to get around expiration timers is to put it in your household inventory. It's not cheating if the game lets you do it without using a cheat command. And of course, the only thing we can do is sell it. All right, so that will not work with drinks. However, I can put it in the refrigerator and it should be fine. Uh, failing that, I have another Wolf Be Gone that Carla actually found. And for some reason, that one doesn't have a timer. And maybe if it spoils, you can still drink it. I don't know. Okay, if I put it in the refrigerator, it gives me six days and 21 hours, which is almost seven days until I have to drink it. And I don't think it'll take me seven days to complete everything. Cross my fingers, I can find that stupid tablet. And when you're working on werewolf abilities, you should definitely transform because you get double the experience. Oh, I got it! Collection complete! Now we just have to do some things for werewolf points. Oh, and there's one more thing I actually need to do for the werewolf part of this. And I think it just needs to be done after Carla is a human again, is I need to make myself a werewolf ally. And what that does is it keeps you from cowering when there's a werewolf around and they're rampaging. So I will probably need to move in someone with Carla when we're done here. Who should we move in? Any ideas? One of the options is Renee Jr. or Carla Jr. But we would have to get them the werewolf diplomacy skill. Or I can take an older version of Carla and we can have a third Carla in the game. Well, because I did save her out to the gallery this way. So, options. We could also get Rory or Christopher to join our household for a little while while we do that. Okay, just a fair warning for the Lunar Howl. Yes, you, it's a purchasable ability that you can use over and over again, but it can only be done outside and at night. And I assume there's also a cooldown on it. I will miss the ability to instantly scare off the paparazzi. What? What? Okay, Carla is not at work. Carla is at school. I'm pretty sure. I hope she, yeah, she's at class until 1225. All right, so this is something for her job. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to say Carla's life will remain unchanged because I'm not going to. Oh, Carla will gain fame and get promoted, promoted in her job. Oh, maybe we should join the cast so we can get promoted. Okay, as long as we only lose money and getting promoted is better than losing the job. All right, it's fine. I just didn't want to take the chance of 
picking one that would lose my job and then screw up my university class. I'm hoping this won't affect my university class I'm currently at. Okay, I was promoted to bodybuilder. Oh, and she came home. That was what I was afraid of. Okay, but it's 1225. It was time for her to come home. Okay, so she got the final exam taken. All right, so she is level nine of the bodybuilder career now. And she's still supposed to be at work. Oh, no, never mind. It's because she got promoted. It switched her branch. All right, since we're level nine, we need to increase our performance. And we don't need to go to school until 3 p.m., I believe. Yeah, 3 p.m. is our last class. And our final grades are in. So we've completed another semester. The only thing is we have not made it to the senior member in the spirit squad. This is so annoying. Okay, now I think we do get to keep our progress, I hope. If not, this is going to be really hard to complete. Okay, it looks like we've kept our progress. So if we are able to do one more semester at Foxbury, I think we'll be able to get to senior member. But why is the spirit squad the hardest one to max out? Oh, I'm still getting experience. That's good. I think I only don't get experience when I've actually graduated and then I have to reset my level and that's what sucks. Okay, this is the only one that works doing it over and over again and canceling it. When I have bar night, it doesn't work. And luckily this guy over here is passed out. So he's passed out because he's scared of me for being a werewolf. And I just keep playing over and over against him. And since he is not coming to the table, I can just cancel my weight and redo it. All of the other teams have socials that you can spam. But this one doesn't. And do you know how long it takes to get a full game of Juice Pong? It just takes forever. And I can only play one or two games, maybe two or three games per event. Okay, now he's getting up. He might lock the table now, but that's fine. Let me just try and ferocious intimidate him. I did almost max the bar, but still, I want to complete this. And I only have, oh no, it's actually 7 p.m. now, so it's technically over. Oh, wait. If I click on myself, starting a Foxberry cheer counts and going streaking counts. Okay, so there's still some things that I can do, even though I don't have those assigned. Because when it shows up with this little lobster icon, that means you get credit for it. Do I get credit at the beginning of the cheer or the end of the cheer? Let's find out. Looks like end of the cheer. Oh, well. Well, I didn't get... Okay, wait. Maybe I get... Yeah, I got credit for one cheer. But still, the cheer takes a lot longer than what I was doing before. I need to get started on next semester, but I really want to d ditch the werewolf. So we're working on ability points. We only need two more. And I also cooked up a batch of golden eggs and made all of my plants perfect. Okay, my butler no longer hates me. Thanks to my men's differences ability from my childhood. I don't think scavenge ground gets you very much werewolf experience, but it is getting me collectibles. So it's actually dual purpose. If you scavenge outside of the werewolf world, you never get any of the werewolf artifacts that are only found in Moonwood Mill. However, you do get other collectibles. All right, now just hanging out in beast form, waiting for the Finchwick Fair and doing some of our homework. Oh, wait, it's school spirit day. Where is Lobster Larry? I don't see him. Okay, we're finally a senior member. Now we can get out of here. Okay, we advanced in our fitness career and we are top level already. Level 10 bodybuilder. Now to change careers. And we'll do botanist next. We are level 8, so we have level 9 gardening skill, level 8 logic skill, and we need to harvest harvestables. 
So the first thing that we're going to do is bribe our boss for job performance, which we cannot do because our reputation is not right. Ah, oh, come on. This reputation thing is actually a little bit of a pain. Okay, we submitted an entry. Now, Daisy isn't Mac's relationship with us, but I'm really not worried about winning this time. I just want some sort of ribbon. Even a competition participation ribbon is fine. Now, unfortunately, we will be saying goodbye to Daisy because I never get my entry back. So, yeah, she's not going to be with us anymore. Hopefully me being in beast form won't make the competition glitch, but hey, this competition is glitchy anyway, so I'm just not worried about it. Oh, someone has some flaming milk. That's probably going to win, so that's uncommon, and enriched milk is normal and common. I don't have a milk entry, but I think it also glitches if you enter both of the competitions. I might try that next time though, if I can, is to enter both of the competitions and see if I'm able to get two prizes. I don't think you can though. No, don't go sit at the bar and do your homework. That always glitches things. Go sit over here. Okay, it looks like she's grading my cow and maybe she's giving me something. Because I think this is when it, it gives me the prize, is when she comes over to my cow Okay, we won something. I think we won something. All right, the fair goes away. And what did I get? Anything? Third place. Okay, that's something. Like I said, I didn't care what ribbon I got. As long as I got one of the ribbons, even a participation ribbon would have been fine because I don't have any of those yet. And I've already made a win with the Finchwick Fair that got me the country caretaker aspiration, so I don't need to do that. Yeah, see, cows are supposed to be in your household inventory when you get back, and I didn't get my cow back. Oh, no. That makes me turn when I do the vicious howl? Well, that's not fun. All right, so we have Mark of the Hunt, symbols depicting the hunt, engraved on the werewolf's heart by the light of the moon. With this mark, both natural fury gains and hunger decays are reduced. Oh, I like that one. This one is easily excitable. Oh, what's that? Is there fun happening over there? This sim now gains fury while feeling playful and while watching TV or playing video games. Well, at least we don't play video games very often. And then this one is Hungry Like the Wolf. These Sims are more ravenous than they've ever been in Game Fury while hungry. Well, I'm never hungry, so that's okay. And this one is Mark of the Wolf. Symbols depicting a wolf engraved on the werewolf's heart by the light of the moon. With this mark, both natural fury gains and social decays are reduced. Well, two reductions? That is kind of awesome. I am really happy with those werewolf temperaments. Now I just need to regain control. I've never seen blue ones before. I've only seen red ones. Okay, why is my fury still at max? Interesting. I think it's a visual glitch. It allows me to do regain control immediately again for some reason. And we did not regain control. Weird. All right. Hopefully Carla is not glitched. Well, <laughs> this is the end of this week's episode. I guess we'll find out later if she's actually glitched. Because that's going to suck. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>